A serving Metropolitan Police officer has been arrested on suspicion of murder following the disappearance of a woman in South London a week ago. Sarah Everard, who was 33, was making her way home from a friend's house. The Metropolitan Police Commissioner, Dame Cressida Dick, revealed tonight that what appear to be human remains have been found near Ashford in Kent, but those remains have not yet been identified. Dame Cressida said that the news that the man arrested was one of her officers had sent shockwaves and anger throughout the force. Let's have this report from our special correspondent, Lucy Manning. Sarah Everard, described by her family as amazing, lovely, fantastic. For a week, they clung on to hope she would be found alive. Off this beaten track, surrounded by woodland, police searched all day as one of their own colleagues sat in police custody on suspicion of her murder and kidnap. This evening, detectives and search teams investigating Sarah's disappearance have found, very sadly, what appears to be human remains. The discovery was made in an area of woodland in Ashford in Kent. The news today that it was a metropolitan police officer who was arrested on suspicion of Sarah's murder has sent shockwaves and anger through the public and through the Met. Sarah Everard was last seen a week ago walking from a friend's house in South London to her house, as many women do on many nights out, walking alone. She didn't make it home. The police officer under arrest is in his 40s. His house in Deal in Kent was also searched, police removing a car. He was a diplomatic protection officer, but instead of protecting embassies, he's facing questions about a possible murder. A woman was also arrested on suspicion of assisting an offender. About four o'clock in the morning, I heard car doors banging because I just assumed it was like um, night workers. They, you know, people going to bed, going to work. And, um, and then I just saw some activity with police down there. Sarah, a marketing executive, had been at her friend's house on Leithwaite Road, close to Clapham Common in South London. She left there at around nine in the evening to return to her home in Brixton, an hour's walk away. Police believe she made her way across Clapham Common. This footage from a doorbell camera showed Sarah on Poinders Road at around 9.30. It's the last time she was seen. Her family still want people to come forward to help the police with anything they saw that night. The policeman arrested was, Scotland Yard said, off duty at the time of her disappearance and it's not known if he was or wasn't connected in any way to Sarah. She was just 33 years old, just enjoying London life, then walking home. How could that end here, where the week-long agony of her family is only intensified? But when a woman disappears after walking home alone, so many people, women especially, hold their breaths, hoping that that person will be found. It seems tonight, after the searches in these isolated dark fields, that everything Sarah's family willed for, their hope that she would be found, it seems that that has not been possible. It was an ashen-faced commissioner of the Metropolitan Police now leading a murder inquiry where the main suspect is one of her own officers. Lucy, many thanks again for the latest there in Kent. Lucy Manning, our special correspondent. Just to recap, in her statement this evening, the Metropolitan Police Commissioner, uh, Dame Cresta Dick, said that Londoners should know it was incredibly rare, in her words, for a woman to be abducted from the capital streets. Uh, and uh, she said her thoughts very much were with Sarah Everard's family. Let's go to Scotland Yard and our Home Affairs correspondent, Daniel Sanford. Daniel, what's the latest that you have for us there? 
Well, first of all, there, I think there is an urgent sense here of a need to reassure the people of London that it is extremely rare for people to be abducted by strangers, rarer still for there to be an abduction that turns into a possible murder. And, of course, if a police officer is involved, that would essentially be unique. The other word that's being used around here this evening, as well as reassurance and shock, is betrayal, because although this investigation could uh, take another path, after all, nobody has yet been charged, if it does turn out that a police officer has been involved, then there will be a very strong sense of betrayal from the very top of this organisation down to the rank and file, a sense that they will have been portrayed and that the people of London above all would have been portrayed because they feel a deep sense of pride that their job is to protect the people of London and now here's one of their own officers suspected of doing the exact opposite in the worst possible way. Daniel, many thanks. Daniel Sanford, our Home Affairs Correspondent there at uh, uh, Scotland Yard.